Hello guys, it is Heather and I'm back again for another video. Um, I asked for suggestions on my Instagram and a couple people suggested that I do a video on like advice about how to tell your parents about like an online relationship, but I'm going to combine this with like how to be safe in an online relationship. Also, yes, I'm wearing this checkered shirt. I look like um, James Charles. Uh, linoleum floor, um, a checkerboard, like whatever you want. That's me today. So we're trying out a look. I don't know if it's working, but we're trying. So from a young age, your parents will tell you to be safe on the internet. There's a lot of creepy people out there, so never give out your personal information. And they are completely right. But in circumstances like mine, that's a different story because we're in an era of the internet and technology and it's life is changing in a way where it's more normal to meet people on the internet but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be safe because it is still a scary place and there are still scary people on the internet so I'm gonna tell you a few ways to sort of make sure that you're being safe for yourself and for your family and stuff like that on the internet and tackling internet relationships like mine or friendships, stuff like that. So my first little piece of advice is to be aware of catfishes. And I know you're thinking like, of course, I know they're out there. Like you don't need to tell me this, but just having that knowledge that they are out there and they can disguise themselves as something you might not expect is good to have. Just going into any relationship that you're forming on the internet with a that idea in mind and that'll help you to be more safe. So when you're starting to get to know someone in any sense, it's normal to ask questions about their lives to sort of, you know, get to know who they are and that's no different on the internet. But you have to be more careful with how you go about this and how you go about answering those questions. So you sort of want to start on a surface level getting to know someone. You can tell them your first name and stuff and your interests, but don't give out any personal information like your address or your phone number or even social media, other social media right away because you want to make sure that they have good intentions and that you can trust that they're the person that they say they are before you go and give them information like this because it could be very dangerous. You need to be aware of what these people are, are asking you too because if they're starting to ask questions that are a bit too personal too fast, then you need to put that boundary up and tell them that you're not comfortable with sharing that or block them if it gets that far because someone who genuinely is looking for a friendship online or whatever else won't be pressuring you into doing things that you don't want to do and they'll just genuinely want to get to know your personality and what you're like. The good thing about living in this technology-driven era is that we have apps like Snapchat where you can send pictures back and forth. So a thing that you could do is just ask the person you're talking to if they have Snapchat and then you can send a picture of your face to them, nothing encrypting, um, and then ask them for a picture back just to see who you're talking to. And uh, even better, a video because then you actually know this person is like talking to you sending you a live video of them. And this doesn't have to be creepy or accusational. You just want to make sure that you're talking to who you're talking to who you think you are sort of thing. Eventually you can get on things like FaceTime and Skype, which I did pretty early on with Aliyah just so that I could make sure that I was talking to the girl that I thought I was. And um one thing that I didn't do well is that I used FaceTime and my situation turned out fine and everything's okay, but if it had been someone like a catfish, it wouldn't have been good that I gave out my number um, that early on. So I'd suggest using something like Skype. After seeing pictures and videos of someone or talking to someone on FaceTime, you get a pretty good idea that you know who you're talking to. And yes, there are still circumstances in which the person that, even though they're who they say they are, their intentions and their personality isn't genuine to what they're saying. And this is really hard to figure out. So you just have to, again, be very safe with what you're talking about and um, don't give out too much personal information until you're absolutely sure that this person is genuine and 
actually wants to be your friend and is not trying to use you for something else. It's also nice after you get to know each other if you can follow each other on other social medias besides just one because if you can see that this person has more than one social media account that they're active on and that seems like they have a normal life, then you're probably talking to someone who has good intentions sort of thing. Um, again, anything can happen and even if this person seems like the most genuine person, it could still be a bad situation, which is why you have to be very, very careful. But these are just things that I would do as a precaution. Once you've made sure yourself that the person you're talking to is um, authentic, then it would come tackling telling your parents about it. But if you yourself know that this person is who they say they are, it's easier for you to tell your parents about them because you trust them, so that would make it easier for your parents to trust them kind of thing. When I told my parents about Aliyah, I, I told my mom first and she told my dad, but I basically just said to my mom that I met this girl online on Tumblr and I was very safe about it. I told her that I didn't give out any personal information and I showed her pictures of Alaya and I said that if my mom wanted to meet Alaya on FaceTime, she could, which is a really good thing because if your parents are kind of like confused about it, it might be nice for them to talk to the person that you're talking to or their parents to see that this person is just living normal life like you and is just a kid like you sort of thing. And yeah, and and then I basically was telling my mom about her because I wanted to send her a package. So I told her all this stuff, told her just like personal personality traits about Aliyah and just like about her life so that my mom could see that she was just a regular person. And then I asked if it would be okay if I sent her a package and my mom, my mom took it really well. Like I didn't have any problems, but I know it can be more difficult in other situations like people's parents who aren't maybe as exposed to technology because in their generation, it wasn't a thing that you could meet people on. They might be a bit confused and scared, but if you just explain to them that you've been very safe and all the things that you've done as uh, precautionary measures and then they should be able to sort of see your point of view. Obviously, even if you do all of these things and tell your parents about it, they can still be like, no, I don't want you talking to them because they just don't understand. And in that case, I wouldn't go behind their back and talk to this person. I just try to explain to your friend or your relationship like whoever you're having a relationship with online the circumstances with your parents and just say that you're going to try to talk to your parents more about it to try to expose them to it more which I think is a really good thing to do because if you're bringing up whoever you're talking to online more often then they'll be more comfortable with the idea that you have this friend or this relationship and there's not not just some creepy person on the internet. It's as easy as just saying things like, oh, my friend won their basketball game today, or oh, my friend just started this grade or whatever. Just talking to them as you would if you were talking about a friend that you know from school or from a sport, because once they're more exposed to it, they can kind of see that it's just another normal friend, even though there's these weird circumstances of being in two different places. Asking your parents to visit your internet friend or relationship or whatever is a lot more difficult. So if you guys want me to do another video on that, I can just let me know. But these are sort of my tips for telling them about your online relationship or about your online friendship and how to be safe when going into these kind of things. I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I am not an expert and these were just kind of the things that I did and the advice that I would have for keeping yourself safe on the internet and exposing your parents to relationships on the internet because they are not as used to them. I hope this was a little bit helpful. I'm sorry if it wasn't, but uh, again, I don't really know what I'm talking about. This is just from my personal experience and what I did with Aliyah. 
I also again wanted to thank you guys for all the support on all of my videos and my Instagram and everything. You guys are seriously amazing. This is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me and I cannot believe my life right now like I'm so so lucky to have you guys and to have this channel and to be able to share my ideas and my creativity it's really really nice for me and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me finally I just want to let you guys know that Ali and I have started a GoFundMe which is basically where if you guys want to or are able to you can donate money so that we can see each other again what we're planning is my grad dinner dance which is kind of like a prom is at the end of May and we were wanting Eli to be able to come down so that she could go with me just for a few days so if you guys are able to donate or you want to that would be very much appreciated but definitely don't feel pressure because it's completely up to you and this is just if you want to but a lot of people were suggesting that we start one so the link is down below and i would it would be very much appreciated if you can donate but again don't feel pressured at all ally and i will definitely be filming more videos together when we see each other again so if you need like an incentive i guess the gofundme can help you guys get videos sooner but again i've said this like 50 times do not feel pressured because it's absolutely not necessary and we're not asking you to donate anything unless you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was somewhat helpful. If you have any other video suggestions that you'd like to see from me, please comment them down below or message me on Instagram or whatever, Twitter. I have all the social medias will be at the end of this video, but please let me know and I will see you guys next week for a new video.